Evolve. Whereas a game like Grand Theft Auto Five, I very story. I love the story. I love the acting. I love uh, everything about that game. That's probably you know top five favorite games on the system for sure, and definitely my favorite Grand Theft Auto game ever. I can't wait to see what they do with the next ones. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see. Uh, next game on the list, probably one of the one of. Uh, the biggest open world games of all time. Definitely one of the biggest games that Bethesda has made. Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> you can't. This game is one of the greatest. I've never played it. However, on the. What is wrong with you? You haven't played Red Dead. You haven't. What's, come on. On the Xbox 360. You haven't it was, seen Galaxy Quest, sir. I. Listen, yeah. I, Galaxy okay. Quest. A Tim Allen was, movie. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this, Colton. If you had just missed Red Dead Redemption. I would be like, you know what? I'll see Galaxy Quest, and you play Red Dead. But you haven't played Red Dead or Skyrim? Those are the biggest games. It's so much to do. It's just, you know, it's just... I'm, I'm going to give it to you. I I'm going like to give it's, you it's Red Dead. It's a game that takes so I'm long. I'm going to give you Red Dead. You have Xbox One, right? Yes. Are both of these backwards compatible? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I would play Red Dead. You can Dead get Redemption. Skyrim on Xbox One f- uh, for the Skyrim Special Edition for Xbox One in yeah. 4K graphics. I'd rather. Pl- I think I'd rather in- more enjoy uh, the Red Dead since it's also made by uh, Rockstar. And they have another one coming out. I have to replay Red Dead. I really want to. I'm going to give it to you. All right, give it. And you're give gonna. It. I'll gonna... give you. There's something about Mary because you haven't seen that either. And I yes. own that. Okay, so I'll that's what we'll, we'll trade. Off. Hold on, we'll, we'll shake on it. Handshake on this one. Go on. You gotta lean. You gotta lean. Oh, all right. Got Don't it. die. All right. We got the handshake. All right. The handshake's week. down. Next week. Next week, we're doing a trade. All right. Um, that sold 13.7 million units, but funny thing is, 59% of those units of the 23 million that were sold were sold on the Xbox 360. So I'm assuming it came out also on PS3 and PC. Yeah. So PC, this game was amazing. But most people did play it on the 360. Yes, when it came out, absolutely. And I work at a retro video game store, and we sell these games, and I haven't seen it for the PS3 in our store yet that I can think of, but uh, it's always there on the 360. Yeah, the 360 was where this thing sold a lot. If you go on PC, though, there's a very dedicated fan base to this game. They have been trying to recreate... They have recreated the older Elder Scrolls, Morrowind. They are trying to recreate it in Skyrim. And they're trying to recreate Oblivion in Skyrim, which is another game that I'm very surprised was not on this list. Well, let's move to the next one. This is a game uh, I never got into. It's Minecraft, the Xbox 360 edition, which sold 13 million units and was released May 9th of 2012. I gotta be one of those guys. I... Thanks to a a good friend of mine, Sean Froman, he got into Minecraft when it was in, like, pre-alpha. When, like, there was no, like, mountains. It was just a flat plain with trees. He got into that game when, like, no one was into it. And he tried to get me into it, and my dad con- tried... To- my dad convinced me that Notch, the guy who created Minecraft, was a guy trying to steal our credit card information, which he wasn't. But, like... Because he was just one guy making this game mm-hmm. that just took the world over by storm. And I got into it before, like, you know, it became, like, super big. All right, Mr. Hipster, we get it. But this game... I have loved to watch Minecraft over the years grow. I haven't played it in quite a bit. I've seen some really cool creations. I feel like somebody yeah. recreated like the Millennium Falcon. But you know what? The, the, the sad part is, is the creations aren't as cool as they used to be because they've added a creative mode to it, which means you can't die and you have unlimited resources. The cool thing used to be in Minecraft that guys would create these elaborate castles and these elaborate gigantic things. Someone mm-hmm. is there's still a project to recreate all of Westeros in Minecraft. Speaking from, of creations uh, from Game of Thrones, yeah, right? uh, I saw somebody recreate Super Mario sixty four, but set it in Ocarina of Time. But that's Game of Thrones. No, it was just you know oh recreation, things, okay, recreation things. okay. How that, cool is that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a an uh, awesome video on it, man. It was I don't know how they do it. But no, these, it's amazing. Some of these guys who do these things are insane. It's absolutely amazing. So like. And the cool thing about old Minecraft would be that these guys have to do it in survival mode, which means they'd have to sit there, mine all the materials to make all this stuff, mm-hmm. and have to be dodging like mobs that are trying to kill them, and mo- they dodge all these things that are trying to stop them from doing what they're doing, and would create it still. No mods, nothing. Yeah. They would do it legit. I actually used to do a lot of Minecraft stuff when it was still new, uh, but I did it on the PC. Uh, what I was really hoping for, because a lot of my friends did play it on the Xbox 360, uh, I was hoping that there would be uh, cross-platforming. 
However, there it was, still isn't. Yeah, I know. Which is which? Fortnite has it. I was playing. My sister plays on Xbox 360 with her friends, and I was playing with her on PC. Hmm? We had cross platform, which is pretty cross cool platforming. Is on actually 360, not- or you mean one? Oh, she's playing one. I mean, one. Yeah. The cross platforming is not a very difficult thing. to I think do. there was a game um, called like Shadow Dance or Shadow Runner or something. There was one game that was a cross platform for 360. It was only one. You could play 360 to PC, and the PC people would slaughter the 360 people, so they shut it off because it's just there's no competition. Isn't Rocket League cross platforming as well? Is it right now? I think it is. I'm not sure. I'm well, not I remember sure. When Rocket I think you League could blew definitely up. play PC versus Xbox One. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that, but cross-platform is much bigger than it used to be. Uh, that game, Shadow Runner, Shadow Dance, whatever it was, that game was like the first, and I think the only one for 360 that is cross-platform. You know what I? You know what I want to do? I want to shout out uh, Square Enix, uh, Final Fantasy, um, Enix, uh, because they had on the Xbox 360 uh, a port of Final Fantasy 11, the MMO, and it was a huge. It was it was akin to World of Warcraft. It was a big World of Warcraft competitor. Um, I don't know. That, yes, wow. Yes, it was. Wow's big man. It was wasn't that big back in 2011. Oh, that it was at the height of its power. Are you kidding? That was Wrath of the Lich King, man. That's like 15 million people playing that game every day. Well, clearly not. There was a lot of people playing uh, uh, Final Fantasy. I'll get the numbers. I'll yes, get up. please. Please do. I'd love to hear that. But... Get the tables. They uh, they cross platformed Xbox 360 and PC versions of Final Fantasy 11, which allowed my brother and I to play simultaneously, which was a lot of fun, and it was really really cool to be able to do that because I'd be playing on console. However, I needed to get a keyboard to actually do anything, but it was still a really really cool way of doing it. And if I wanted to move. Uh, in the game, I would just pick up the controller. It was just much easier to move over those really long distances, you know? I remember the first time being able to play a multiplayer game on two different systems was mind-blowing. Um, my brother's friend at the time had a few computers at his house. He was a computer nerd. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, I remember just playing Warcraft 2 on separate systems, on separate computers, the same game. And that was... It, we've come a long way since then. Yeah, when, we have. You know, you can only do that uh, connecting through the same computer. So uh, how bad? How bad is? So uh, four years ago. What are the margins? So four years ago, they were uh, claiming that Final Fantasy XI had a a peak of five hundred thousand subscribers. Well, he said two thousand eleven. Was the game even out then or no? Yes. Yeah. No, it was out then. But they're saying as of four years ago, the peak of its subscribership was five hundred k. Whereas, wow, I know it was about 13, 14, 15 million around there during Wrath of the Lich King. And that was concur- every day those people were on servers and crash. k was, his, was its peak? That's what... I can keep looking for more sources if you'd like. <laughs> yeah. That, keep, that can't be right. Uh, 500k? Yeah. No. That's unofficial. I'll keep looking, man. Yeah, that's unofficial. Right, let's let's keep what, looking. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. We'll Go move ahead. On. You keep Call going. Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, oh, this whole franchise is yes. very confusing. I don't know which one this is. Which is the one? Black where Ops you, is. Um, Black what? Ops was the first one with the zombie mode. No, the second one with the zombie mode. Uh, I don't really even know the difference between the games. Uh, there is, really is. Not. Is this the best one? It's one of the best ones. Which is the one where you do the airport scene? Ah, yes, that was Modern Warfare Two. That was insane. Was that so, Joe? Am what, I correct on that? What are the games? There's Call of Duty, Black Ops, and then there's a Modern Warfare franchise as well. So here, um, oh. kind of. They're like different. Uh, they're all different universes. You have, um, you have the the Modern Warfare universe. You have the Black Ops universe. You have so many different. What's the difference oh, that's between them? You're looking at fourteen. You're not looking at eleven. That should have been 14. Yeah, that 14 is different. Because 14 actually was released uh, a while ago, and then it got it was so bad, it got shut down and then reintroduced. 14 right now is really good. I looked up 11. But a lot of people were turned off to 14. Well, yeah, you, uh, results for 14 are going to come out now because that's the one, you know? I'm gonna keep. I'll keep digging. All yeah. right. Well, Call of Duty Black Ops sold 12 million units. It was released on November 9th worldwide in uh, 2010. I remember playing that game. Uh, that game was 
amazing. It, it, the the storyline was great. The multiplayer was really solid. The zombie mode was great. I have a vivid memory of coming home after prom because I, I had a terrible prom. Uh, I came home right after prom and just played online and just got all my frustration out <laughs> online. That was some good. I'm gonna Times? score somehow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I loved Black Ops. I loved this game. Honestly, I played the hell out of this game with. Quite a few friends. We used to play the gun game mode and just do nothing but grief people. Yeah, we man. used to just troll like no one could troll. And this game was perfect for it. The zombies in this game was a ton of fun. Um, listening to John F. Kennedy talk about slaughtering zombies is one of the funniest things you'll ever do. Yeah, it's weird. It is a great game. This is a solid game. The campaign was a little wonky, but you know what? Gary Oldman's in it, and if Gary Oldman's in it, it's cool. Oh, he's a great actor. I never really could get into the Call of Duty games. I, I was I'm more of a Halo guy if I'm going to play a first-person yeah. shooter. So I, I'm not into the Call of Duty games. But the next game is Halo 4, which sold 9.41 million units. I did not units. like Halo 4. I, I remember it not liking it as much as Halo 3, but it's, you know, generally the same type of game, right? Except there's jetpacks. J- just about, but they, like, changed weapons around. and so They changed... Uh, did Bungie make this? No, right? Mm, no. No, that was... Uh, no, so, right so, 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 so what happened, three, so what four, happened was is that Bungie... Uh, they were told, you're you're going to move on. They're going to tell you, you're going to do other things. Because, I guess, Bungie executives had a different idea of where they wanted Halo to go compared to what Microsoft wanted. So a bunch of people from, from Bungie split off into 343 Studios so they could make Halo the way Microsoft wants them to make it. Now, if that's a good idea or a bad idea, that's up to you. But the Halo games haven't been as well received since Bungie was doing them. And Bungie's been getting nothing but great reviews for their Destiny games, which are actually their killer. They're awesome. So it's it's one of those things where it's like, sure, this is, I guess, where you could say where Halo started to go downhill when 343 took it over. But at the same time, it's still at a high, but it's yeah. not as high as it once no, was. No, it, it's definitely not. The games are much more convoluted. Uh, Halo 5, unfortunately, was a, the, the nail in the coffin for a lot of people uh, because it essentially required you to know all of the background material for Halo, including the books, including the comics, including all of, like, the deep lore stuff that only real, like, hyper Halo fans are gonna know. You know, and obviously those fans were like, yo! But other than that, Nobody knew what the hell was going on in 5. Where did Blue Team come from? Blue Team was in the books. Nobody read the books, you know? So, like, Blue Team was not supposed to be there. We didn't know who Blue Team was. Blue Team was Master Chief's original Spartan squad. He was like, um... Remember when, um... The guy in Reach? uh, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Brother. Sure. Uh, (laughs) The guy in Reach. uh, June? He's the only one that made it out. No, no, no! I'm talking about the the main guy, your guy, your guy. Oh, he's not named. Yeah, he's not named. So he's like a, an avatar character. Essentially, like Blue Team was uh, Master Chief's version of uh, all your all your friends in Reach. So where did they come from? We don't know. You know, it's just a very it's a very assuming game that just tells you, oh, well, you need to know. Yeah, and it was basically just like the Halo Five could be summed up as. Cortana's crazy in love with Chief, which we don't need. We don't need a love story. Right. Uh, Nathan Fillion is still hilarious. Um, and, like, Blue Team is there now. <laughs> that's, right. That's Halo 5 in it's a just, nutshell. It's just so weird. It's just weird Although, how it's gone. The gameplay was mwah, excellent. It was excellent. It's just the story was weird. That's all. But Halo 4, I didn't I didn't dislike, you know? See, I didn't care that the story was bad for Halo 5 because, like I said earlier, I just kind of play the games for the gameplay. So right. I didn't see any really big difference between 4 or 5 or yeah, even Yeah, there three. wasn't really. I mean, but it was very polished in 5. There was a lot more flair, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I'm actually kind of looking actually, forward to 6 because... One thing I want to note for you real quick, Colton. I'm looking at uh, Final Fantasy. I mean, I'm dead set on trying dead to set figure on it, it out. Yeah. Um, one cool thing is you can still buy and play this game. Yeah. You know it's still live. Yeah. 11 and is still live. It's got the same subscription platform since 2002, and it's still going. They're yeah, still man. releasing updates. They're still releasing uh, new content. But the only thing is that 
The numbers actually are lower than 500,000. At its peak, it was from 200 to 300,000 active players no. daily in 2006. That's a high number. No. Two to 300,000 people in 2006. That's actually really high. Yeah, no, it is. That is-